Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be learning about grip editing and alignment in Civil 3D. So let's get started. In this exercise you'll use grips to move alignment curves. In future lessons you'll learn how to grip edit offset and curb return alignments in the working with alignment and curb return alignments tutorial. Note to change the behavior of an entity you can change the tangency constraint and parameter constraint value. This exercise continues from editing the layout parameter values of an alignment. Note ensure that the dynamic input is turned on. You can do that by typing in DYN and make sure it's set to 1. And make sure that the O snap is turned off, which is this icon right here. This is the on position, and this is the off position. Let's go ahead and grip edit a free curve entity. Note this exercise uses the align-4 drawing with the modifications you made from the previous exercise. Zoom in to circle B. Click the alignment, and grips appear at the curve ends, midpoint, and at the point of intersection, or PI. Go ahead and click the midpoint grip until it turns red. Click a new location for the curve to pass through. Notice that the curves and tangents remain tangent to each other, but both endpoints move along the tangents. Click the radius grip, which is this arrow right here, Go ahead and experiment by moving it. Notice that this grip affects only the curve radius and constrained to the direction of the radius change. Next, select either an endpoint grip or the PI grip. I'm going to select the PI grip. Experiment with reshaping the curve in different ways. Let's grip edit a floating curve entity. Pan around to this area within circles D, E, and F. Fit them in my screen just like so. Select the alignment and then select the grip within circle D. Notice how it turns red. Now notice that there's a pass-through point which is kind of a circular grip right in the center of circle F. And notice that it doesn't move. It stays right in the center of circle F. Go ahead and click any location. Now select this pass-through point within circle E. See how it turns red? Click a new location for the grip. Notice that the pass-through point within circle D doesn't move. Select a new location. The spiral curve entity in circle D moves along the preceding tangent to accommodate the new pass-through point. In the Labels and Tables panel, click the drop-down for Add Labels. Then select Single Segment. Click the curve within circle D. A label is placed on the curve. Press Enter to end the label command. Click the curve to activate the grips and edit the curve using the pass-through point. I'm going to select this location right here and escape to deselect the alignment. Now the label shows the new length of the curve. So that's how you go about grip editing and alignment in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.